Hello everybody, a random gnome here, and I came across a little tip that might actually help you guys out a lot. Um, if you're like me and your router is connected to a computer downstairs and not actually connected to yours, like I'm all the way upstairs and it's all the way downstairs, and uh, restarting a router is kind of a hassle when you have to go downstairs every single time because I have an Xbox in my room and sometimes it won't connect and it makes me uh, restart my router. So here's how to do it from your computer without even touching your router. Just go to the address of your router. 168. This should be for most of you, but for other people, it's going to be different. Uh, when you sign in, it's going to be admin password by default. Yeah, and the username would be admin and the password should be password. And if you don't know what that is, uh, real quick, I'll show you how to know what yours is, just in case. Uh, just type in IP config, and then you'll see right here default gateway and that's what you're going to want to type up here and then once you get here this is going to be uh, pretty much the same for everybody probably on the left there's it's not going to look like this but there's going to be basic settings and if you you should have that oh I'm already on that page okay you scroll down you don't touch anything you don't mess with any of the settings and you hit apply and what that's going to do is update and since it's updating and changing something it thinks it's changing something it's going to apply that, but it's not actually changing. It's just thinking it's changing, so it's going to restart the router automatically so it goes to those settings. But it's just going to restart, and there's no settings change. So pretty much it's just restarting your router from your computer. So it's a lot easier. You can just go ahead and do this every time. You know, you get an error like your internet won't connect, or maybe your Xbox won't connect. Just go here, do that, and you don't even have to touch your router. So it's a really efficient way to do it without going to your router and I, I came across that and I know a lot of people would uh, really want to use that like I do so uh, thank you guys for watching and I hope it helped you out uh, thanks for watching and see you guys later